Hi everyone, Doki Pen here. Just a quick video to show you something I've been working on. This is a fully volumetric cloud system that I've been putting together, which uh, takes um, takes fluid caches from from Maya and then is baked out in a way so that I can read them into Unreal Engine and use particles to render them. So I'll kind of briefly take you through the setup. Uh, I start with Maya and you know just create a static container and you can sculpt these cloud shapes pretty easily using some noise and then what I do is I use an orthographic camera to render out a whole sequence of them taken out a slice at a time and from there I can take that into Photoshop and here you can see one of the slices and I um, I create a texture atlas from that and from there I can bring that into Unreal. So I have that texture imported and what I do then is in my uh, material I have a particle system which is pretty simple it just has a kind of simple uh, st static distribution which is seeded so that the particles stay in the same position and I like it. Oh, a little tip here, if you hold the L key in the preview, then the light can be rotated around to get a better view of your of your particles. And that also works in the static mesh editor as well, to preview your meshes. But uh, anyway, back to the system. Um, so in my material, I am getting the bounds of the particle system. And using the bounds, I'm using that to index into the 3D coordinates of the atlas. So it's a 2D atlas but I'm generating from the 3D coordinates the 2D index into the atlas and I'm using that to drive the uh, the color and the opacity of the particles. And then all I need to do is come to the particle system and where I, where I spawn particles down in the, uh, in the burst section so here we can see there's not many, just there's about 167 particles there. But as soon as I start upping the number of particles, then the sampling of that volume starts to become a lot more dense. And I fill in that uh, sort of texture look. And when I um, hit play, then the performance isn't too bad. Um, it is quite expensive, but um, again, again, I'm going to try and find a way to optimize this. But this is running about, let's see, this is running at 75 frames a second in the editor. So that's not too bad. And the cool thing is, is that this is using lit translucency. So I can come in here and come to the lighting, grab the light and change the direction and it updates dynamically with the shadows in the in, in the clouds and these can be moved around rotated and the shadows will update in real time which is great I mean it's really good quality they can, they can be scaled and the next step with this is I'm going to be introducing some noise into the uh, sort of bound the coordinates so that I can get some procedural movement, kind of fake movement, but fluid like. Okay, thanks for watching.